Three months ago, Always AFK completely disappeared from the internet. Today, I'll be explaining why he left the internet, as well as revealing his unseen final message. We're going to pick up right where we left off in the previous documentary, covering the timeline in full as we delve deeper into the truth of Always AFK's mysterious disappearance. After I uploaded the massively successful documentary on the story of Always AFK, I reached out to him and we became friends. This allowed me to gain insider knowledge about the true purpose of Always AFK's final segment of his YouTube career. His first video following my documentary was the final 1 to 20 of bridge progression that he would ever create, which was the end to his most popular series. He stated that the reason he ended the series was due to the staleness of progression and the game as a whole. Him ending the series represented AFK's first sign of major dissatisfaction with the game which is why I believe this was the first sign of AFK's eventual disappearance being imminent. 49 days later, after being fed up with how Deepwoken YouTube favored short-form slop content, which would get more views than Deepwoken videos with passion put into them, AFK would begin a challenge to himself where he had to post daily uploads for an entire month. For comparison, AFK would usually upload videos anywhere between every two weeks to a month each. For the first 10 days of this challenge, he would still create pretty high quality entertaining videos that got lots of views. But then, he decided to put his plan into action. He'd use his influence to begin an event that would forever be remembered by the Deep Oaken community. First, he gathered 21 of the most influential content creators that I know and briefed them on his villainous plan. On September 24th, 2023 at noon, these content creators would all release their own rendition of an announcement video. An announcement video of what, you may ask? The announcement of Purge Week declaring that for the remainder of the week, you had to grip every person that you saw in game or die trying. At noon, Deep Oaken YouTube was completely taken over by videos addressing Purge Week. The idea behind Purge Week was that it helped bring some life into the game during a time where the only content being added was about one wisp per week. The community immediately showed a very mixed reaction towards the event, with many people being excited that Deep Oaken was scary again while others were upset that they couldn't play the game normally for an entire week since they had to worry about every person trying to grip them. Many people who were upset with the event attempted to band together and form a group of anti-purgers who would grip people participating in the event. However, if you have more than one point invested into your IRL intelligence stat, you'd be able to realize that this simply fans the flames of Purge Week even more by increasing the amount of fighting, which is exactly what Always AFK had planned. After Purge Week officially began, Always AFK and his guild immediately began to gank people in the depths, wiping countless players. 12 minutes after the declaration of Purge Week, a popular Deep Oaken Discord server called Gank Hub placed a bounty on Always AFK's head, making him even more of a target than he already was. Alongside this, anyone slightly associated with the event in any way, including anyone who attended AFK's declaration of the event, me, was also placed as a lesser bounty. If you were to grip Always AFK or the promoters, you'd be rewarded gank coins, which could be redeemed for Deep Oaken items. The first day of Purge Week was a complete success on Always AFK's part, with the community ready to either participate or protest this event. AFK officially abandoned his hero status and was ready to live it up as Deep Oaken's villain for nothing but glory. The next three days didn't slow down either. The Purge Week event was free content that Always AFK used to his advantage in order to keep up with his daily uploads challenge. AFK went from being a hero figure to being the game's definitive villain. I did not expect Always AFK to be this much of a bum. Purging Deep Oaken killing everybody, including the freshies in the depths, and just, you know, ruining people's days for a week. That is really lame, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. On day five, Always AFK announced that a final battle would be occurring between the Purgers and the Anti-Purgers. This event would consist of an 8v8 between content creators representing both sides. If the Purgers win, Purge Week will continue on next year. But if the Peacekeepers win, then Purge Week will end along with us. Then. On day 7, the live streamed final battle was set to happen. The results would forever change Deep Oaken. Would Purge Week become an annual event, or would it drown along with the Purgers? Unfortunately, the event didn't go exactly as planned. The event took place in the content creator private server in the depths, and as both the Purgers and Anti Purgers were preparing to make their pre battle speeches, content creators that weren't invited to be a part of the final battle began to gank both teams. This caused chaos to erupt, and everyone began fighting each other. People were teaming up to try and take on the gankers while also fighting each other. Many people wiped, and Purge Week was declared to be over forever. It's quite ironic that the way that Purge Week ended was the final battle being interrupted by a gank. Although the community's opinion heavily shifted on Always AFK, this was all part of his plan, which AFK summarizes perfectly. In my first video of the month, I said I'd do five things. I said I'd be uploading daily for the next 30 days, I'd stop drawing my thumbnails, I'd outsource background footage, reduce editing complexity, and finally, I would take on a more controversial personality so that I could get more attention and publicity. And by the way, it, it totally worked. 
This month I did six progression videos, got two of my bell suggestions added to the game, set the entire community against me by starting an in-game purge for a whole week, causing an extreme drama which drove a ton of traffic and attention to my channel, as well as all the other YouTubers who also covered the event. And then I concluded that week by making a classic YouTuber apology video with no thumbnail, which is something I've always wanted to do. A month and a half later, on November 30th, Always AFK subjected himself to yet another 30-day challenge. This challenge was to complete a new speedrun every day for 30 days in a row. Although, it's easy to see how this could be way too much of a commitment. The first day went alright. Yo, Logan, thanks for the- Welcome to the Always AFK fan club, thanks for the membership. Just be careful, AFK, you don't have scuba driver yet. <laughs> uh, it's over. It's over. And although the Minecraft run unfortunately died, it was a truly great stream. The second stream was on getting over it, but Always AFK ended the stream early as he wasn't really enjoying the streaming process. As well as the taxing amount of hours needed to complete a 30 day challenge of this magnitude was a bit much on his mental. 22 hours later, he stated that the speedrunning challenge would be over, and that it would likely be the last month that he was active on YouTube. He said that he had one final video planned that was going to be a bank, a video that would take a very long time to complete. He was truly leaving and distancing himself from the internet, what seemed to be a result of the many reasons elaborated upon throughout this video so far. After all, he completed all that he wanted to on the internet, and that this final video would be where he went out with a bang, as a finale to the Always AFK character. But then, on January 12th, Always AFK sent his final public message, without warning, and without uploading any final major video. This had many people wondering, what happened to Always AFK's final video, and why did he leave so suddenly? Luckily, since I became friends with AFK, I believe that I can summarize the answer to these questions really well. Always AFK seemingly randomly left the internet on January 12th, but as we covered in this video, it was a long time coming. AFK completed all that he wanted to in Deepwoken and the internet, but he realized that what he accomplished on the internet wasn't what he truly wanted to do in life. He was appreciative of the time that he spent on the internet and the legacy that he has created, but his content creation was also holding him back from getting started with his real life. Due to this, he asked to leave the internet without looking back, which is what he did on January 12th, as he felt that if he stayed any longer or announced his leave, his friends and fans would beg him to stay. But what if I told you that Always AFK's final message wasn't to his Discord, but to me? Now is the time you might be wondering why I didn't include any information about Always AFK's speedruns in this video. After all, that's what he's most known for. Well, right before he deleted Discord, Always AFK's final message to me was a Google Drive link. And in it was all the needed information to record what was going to be Always AFK's final YouTube video. The history of Layer 2 speedrunning. Always AFK's final wish was for me to complete his magnum opus and to summarize the entire history of Layer 2 speedrunning in a single video. Well, 24 hours from now, I'll be releasing it. Always AFK's final video, the culmination of his speedrunning efforts over the past year and a half. The video that Always AFK wasn't able to complete himself, so he left it to me. I'll see you there.